Hello and welcome. All right, so this is part number nine of chapter number 11, Air and Water. In this video, uh, we will be talking about fertilizers. Uh, we will discuss uh, nitrogen fertilizers, uh, phosphorus uh, fertilizers, uh, potassium fertilizers, and finally, we will be talking about how to choose a better fertilizer. In other words, what factors should you uh, put in mind when looking for a good fertilizer? All right, so uh, before we get into the different types of fertilizers, let's understand what is meant by the term fertilizers. These are soluble compounds that provide plants with um, either nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, or potassium. So this stands for nitrogen. This stands for phosphorus. And this stands for potassium. So, soluble compounds that provide plants with either nitrogen or potassium or, uh, or phosphorus, or all of them, to increase the growth of plants. So, these are fast growth materials. And if you have a backyard or a farm, um, of course, um, I'm sure that you would be familiar with the concept of fertilizers, fast growth materials. Now, let's see uh, the importance of nitrogen fertilizers. Nitrogen fertilizers provide plants with nitrogen to increase the protein in crops. So that's really important. Some examples of nitrogen fertilizers include ammonium um, sulfate, as you can see here is the nitrogen, potassium nitrate, urea, here it contains nitrogen. Next is the phosphorus fertilizers. These provide the plants with phosphorus to have large healthy roots. And so we said the nitrogen fertilizers provide the plants with nitrogen to have proteins and crops, to increase the proteins and crops. The importance of the phosphorus fertilizers is that they provide uh, plants with phosphorus to have large healthy roots. Examples of phosphorus fertilizers include soluble phosphates, uh, sodium phosphate, potassium phosphate, ammonium phosphate, and much more. Next is potassium fertilizers. Uh, these provide plants with potassium to help in photosynthesis. So that's the importance of potassium fertilizers. Now examples include potassium nitrate, potassium phosphate, potassium chloride, and so on. Now we come to the important part of this video. How to determine which is a better fertilizer? What factors should you put in mind when you're going to buy a fertilizer? Number one, you have to put in mind that a fertilizer which provides two fertilizer elements is definitely better than one which provides only one element. So potassium nitrate versus urea. As you can see here, it provides potassium and nitrogen, so two fertilizer elements, whereas urea only provides the nitrogen element, so potassium nitrate wins and is the one that you should be buying. The second factor that you should, be put, uh, that you should put in mind is that a fertilizer which provides more N is better. So let's see an example here. We have urea and we have ammonium nitrate. The number of N it provides is 2, N2, N2, here, here you see the 2. And when it comes to ammonium nitrate, it also provides N2, here is an N and here is the other one. But when it comes to the percentage of N by mass, the urea provides 46% of nitrogen, whereas ammonium nitrate provides 35% of nitrogen. Therefore, urea is better than ammonium nitrate and should be uh, the fertilizer that you should buy. All right, so we have come to an end with this uh, video. I hope that you now understand uh, what is meant by fertilizer and what are the different types of fertilizers and how can you um, choose a good fertilizer. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. 
um, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video.